Let friends in your social network know what you are reading about Tom Hanks as in command, writing and starring in the World War II drama, Greyhound, now streaming. But how accurate are the screen sea battles? A link has been sent to your friend's email address. A link has been posted to your Facebook feed. In the trailer for Tom Hanks's World War II epic, Greyhound, a convoy of Allied ships cross the North Atlantic while pursued by packs of Nazi U-boats. USA Today Tom Hanks enters dangerous seas in his World War II drama, Greyhound. Hanks's Navy officer commander Ernest Krause leads the destroyer USS Keeling, codenamed Greyhound, escorting vital troops and supplies to England through the infamously dangerous section of the North Atlantic while battling wolf packs of Nazi U-boats. Greyhound, streaming Friday on Apple TV Plus, states on screen that's inspired by actual events, with Hanks adapting the screenplay from C.S. Forrester's 1955 novel, The Good Shepherd. Director Aaron Schneider says it was crucial to continue Hanks's streak of realistic World War II dramas following his starring role in Saving Private Ryan. Hanks also wrote and produced Band of Brothers and The Pacific miniseries. Tom has history of telling great war stories that also maintain a respectful level of accuracy, which is a way of honoring the service, says Schneider. I wasn't going to be the one that screwed that up. Here's what, Greyhound, gets right, and wrong. Ernie Krause, Tom Hanks, right wrestles with life or death decisions and physical exhaustion in, Greyhound. Photo, Nico Taverniise, Apple, everything from first-time Commander Krause to the Keeling Destroyer are fictional. However, Forrester, best known for his, Horatio Hornblower, book series, was fastidious in his quest to detail the 1942 crossing of the perilous five-day, Black Pit, stretch of the Atlantic, where the Navy convoy were too far from land for valuable air support. C. Forrester was rarely wrong about anything in his books and wrote, The Good Shepherd, with the help of two senior naval officers working as his advisors, says marine historian Gordon Locko, who served as one of two, Greyhound, military technical advisors. This ethos was transferred to the movie. The complicated tactics Krause employs to battle the U-boats and rapid-fire technical interactions on the ship's bridge convey the accuracy, though there were dialogue tweaks to enable viewer comprehension. You don't want to be so technically perfect that the audience has no idea what they're seeing, then you've lost them, says Locko. Captain Krause, Tom Hanks, rolls into dangerous seas in, Greyhound. Photo, photo courtesy of Apple, Greyhound, relies heavily on CGI scenes depicting the expansive sea battles. But the sea drama was shot on USS Kidd, a decommissioned WWII-era Fletcher-class destroyer, and a highly accurate interior soundstage set on gimbals to recreate water movement.